All right, guys, quick project here on the KLR. You see I've got it up on the table and I pulled the cover to the, the kickstand switch here. I just want to go ahead and bypass this thing to eliminate another potential fail point when I'm out on the trail. Let's say I get a stick caught up on this, uh, on this cable here and it snaps that and then I just can't start the bike for a stupid reason. So I know it's a safety feature, but I'm going to go ahead and disable it. I want to show you guys how to do it. All right, so we're checking out the side stand here. I want to show you how the system works. So set this thing down. I have my digital multimeter and set it to continuity, all right? It beeps whenever it sees a pathway. And this is the, the, this is the plug for the side stand switch. I'll go ahead and set this up. All right, you can see it has continuity when the kickstand is in the up position, which is what we want. We go down, it breaks that continuity, it breaks the contacts within the switch. So if this has continuity when in the up position, which is what we want, then that means all we have to do is loop this right here, loop this pigtail, and plug it back in. Now to, con to confirm my, my theory here, I just have a jumper on the plug where this goes, just looping the system, move the camera back obviously, but you can see. Start it. Okay. Most importantly, I can go into gear. I won't die. If I unplug this, confirm our theory. immediately dies, right? It dies because it's not seeing ground path. It's not seeing, you know, the, the, the CDI signal is not seeing ground. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this, loop it, we'll be done. So if you're the type that does not want to make an irreversible move or an irreversible change on this switch, let's say you want to sell this thing and you want to take it back to stock or whatever, um, you can, instead of just cutting it, you can actually buy terminals. I'll have these linked in, the, linked in the description, but terminals and connectors and pins and whatnot that match factory. I get these from cycleterminal.com and you can go ahead and make a factory connection or a factory jumper that you can remove at your leisure and go back to stock by just plugging this, plugging this back in. But us, we're cutting. All right, so what I wanna do here is instead of making a loop like this and having a weird solder joint on, on an end that's got a big loop on it, I wanna shorten one and put it in line. That way there's not as much tension on it. So I wanna put my joint in line right there. So in this instance, doesn't matter which one, just cut this one a little long, and that'll be a good spot for that little loop. Check our links there. All right. Always remember to get your heat shrink on first. That'll ruin your day. I know everybody does solder joints a little bit differently. Put those together. Give a little spin. Get this little close up for you. Like that. From there. A little flux.
There it is. jumper now you could go a step further put another piece of heat shrink over the both of them as added strain relief I'm probably gonna go ahead and just do that The internal piece of heat shrink there was uh, adhesive line, so it's sealed. So this is just a regular single sheath piece of uh, heat shrink, so it doesn't matter. You can get moisture in there and it's not going to affect the wiring, but this does add further strain relief. But there's our jumper. All right, now even though the, the, the safety switch isn't on here to space this out, we'll be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, got some shorter screws here. Red Loctite. And done. All right, guys. Hope you like this one. Simple little mod here, just to uh, help durability and uh, and sustainability out on the trail. Don't want to go breaking stuff and getting stranded anywhere. So, anyway, gotta use your head. Again, I'll link all that stuff in the description in case you want to go a di slightly different route with this. Uh, always refer to your manual and stuff like that. But anyway, um, if you haven't already, I've got a few other kind of unique mods on this thing, namely the. Uh, used lawn chair pannier racks. I got the Ducati fan mod on here and a fan override switch. So like any KLR, we're continually evolving it. And there are mods to come. So anyway, above, I'm gonna link the uh, playlist. You guys can check out the other videos I've done on the bike. Check out some other videos on the channel if you do so feel inclined. There's a lot of variety on here. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. So look for me in the next one and I hope to see you there.